Live actor, TV personality, recording star, now Dr. Frank Enfoda. Please welcome Craig McLaughlin. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, sorry about the singer, folks. It, you know, yeah, tough show and fairly hungry. How did you? And uh, Craig, congratulations. How did it go tonight? Oh, it was wild, stupid. Oh, <laughs> that was great. It. Uh, uh, Frank's Frank's a great part to play, obviously, and the uh, the crowd was good, the vibe was good, and I think there's a party to go to now. So speed this up a little. Now, of course, doing an opening night, building up to an opening night, what's going through your head? Having just done one, what what was going through well, your head uh, leading just, up to the opening night? I mean, you know that you know that nervous thing. I mean, even even hosting this thing the week the week that I did this, I used to get so rattled behind here. I used to think, how do you do it? And it's tenfold on the stage, obviously, because <laughs> the people are right there, they're right in front of you. The corset, the bra, is uh -huh. my makeup right? You, you, you did that on this show. I beg your pardon? You did that on this show? Oh, underneath my suit and stuff. Uh -huh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, did you have to think twice about uh, getting into the whole outfit to do the, into the drag outfit to do the Rocky Horror Show? Well, you know, I've been to a few parties in the past. Where... Oh. What, I, what I meant to say was the, uh, well, it's interesting. A lot of people, when, uh, when word got out that I was involved in, in the Rocky Horror Show, they understandably expected perhaps that I'd be playing Rocky or maybe to pinch Brad. But when Frankenfurter was... Um, was mentioned to me, I thought, it's what I've always wanted to do. You know, make some money, <laughs> make some money acting in a corset, why not? Are there any, uh, are there any theatre superstitions that you had to oblige before? I mean, what, what things do you oh, go through? Oh, you know, I, as far as superstitions go, I do everything incorrectly, you know, like guys will be on a ladder just finalising some light rigging, I'll walk under it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A cat will come into the cinema, a black one, and I'll accidentally kick it in my high heels. You know, everything that you could possibly do wrong, accidentally, for all you RSPCA people, accidentally. I never saw the thing. Do you find you're adopting the Frankenfurter style of the manner of dressing? Are you becoming more liberal? How do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, oh I dropped something. Oh. Oh. I dropped something. Could you pick it up too from now here? I will. Thanks, man. <clears throat> but, but do you find that it's, it's infecting your way of life? Funny you should say infect, Stephen. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, the, I guess the big, the, possibly the biggest thing that happens is, um, you know, uh, people who have seen the show. I, I had, after a preview the other night, I had a couple of fellas, I was walking back to my hotel. I had a couple of fellas there and one of them walked over and he said, uh, seen a picture of you in a magazine the other day, wearing girlies gear. <laughs> Always thought you were one. <laughs> but, you know, that that's, doesn't happen too much. That's life. That's that, life. That, that is, in fact, life. Craig's going to stick around for a while before he gets back to the cast party, which is terrific, I think. <laughs> what will they be doing at the moment? What will be happening at the cast party as we speak? Do you know, well, most cast parties, I guess they just sort of relax, unwind, have a chat, have a drink, but at the Rocky Horror Show cast party? Who knows? The whole... <laughs> And on that note, it's now time.